Welcome to Gentle Yoga. My name is Catherine. Today for class, we're going to need a chair, be close to a wall, and have a block or something that can function as a block. We're going to begin on our backs in supported bridge with the use of our blocks. Go ahead and lay flat on your back, have your knees bent, feet on the mat. And then once you arrive on the floor, you'll just lift the hips and slide the block underneath the pelvis on its lowest setting. So keep your gaze at the ceiling. So if you didn't have a block, maybe you could use a stack of books. And you wanna be sure that the block is, is supporting actually the pelvis. So it's below the low back. You can let the arms rest on the mat if that feels good, or maybe on your belly. You can close your eyes, take a few deep breaths. Welcoming yourself to your practice. And maybe even feeling to some gratitude for the causes and conditions that allowed you to practice right now. I'd like us to um, really be focused on our breath uh, a little extra through this practice. And I'm gonna be counting and kind of helping you pace your breath. If how I'm counting to pace your breath feels stressful or doesn't feel like a good fit, please just uh, disregard my count. Uh, my intention is that uh, through a focused equal breath um, and maintaining that awareness throughout our practice with some uh, breath length movements that we're going to really help focus the mind and let go of stress. Uh, it'll be like an anchor for the mind to come back to again and again. Uh, if you are having a lot of thoughts today if the mind feels a little bit wild. So exhale completely. And I'd like you to inhale for the count of five, four, three, two, one. And then exhaling five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling five, four, three, two, one, pause, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, pause, inhale, five, four, three, two, one, pause at the top, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, pause at the bottom. And then just continue like that counting in your mind. Five to inhale, five to exhale, and a pause uh, with uh, the lungs full and a pause with the lungs empty. We'll do that a few more rounds on our own. And see if you can direct the breath down into the pelvic floor, down into the heels. Imagine that you're just filling your breath your entire body with breath all the way down to your heels as you inhale. And as you exhale, you're evacuating nice and slow, not pushing, not rushing anything. And of course, maybe your breath count needs to be shorter or longer. Please do that. A few more rounds. And one more slow inhale. And when the exhale arrives, press your feet into the floor, lift the hips, remove the block, and bring the hips back to the mat. 
just settling in here. I encourage you to keep that pace of breath throughout practice. I'll refer back to it. But keeping that pace of breath, we're going to do some pelvic tilts. Now, you can um, just tilt them uh, a little bit faster than the breath if you like, or link it up to the breath. But I'm interested in you uh, pressing the low back to the mat while keeping your pelvis on the floor. And then uh, tilting the front of the pelvis away from the face so that the low back comes off the mat uh, a little bit. Now, next time the low back presses into the mat, exhale slowly, emptying out the lungs, draw your low belly to the floor. And then bringing the feet off the mat, low back stays on the floor best you can, low belly drawing in. Have the knees over the hips best you can. Feet together, thighs together, we're just strengthening the core. There's an emptiness in the space below your navel, low back to the mat, last breath. And then release the feet. Have them uh, mats with distance apart and extend your arms left and right. This is a good variation if you've got um, some frozen shoulder or something going on with your uh, arms. If you're feeling okay in your arms today, make your arms like a loose halo around your head. And then we'll start to windshield wiper the knees side to side. And then let's link that with our breath. So the exhale, knees go five, four, three, two, one to one side. The inhale, knees come back through center. The exhale, five counts, knees go opposite direction. Let it pause. The inhale, knees come five, four, three, two, one, back to center. Pause at the uh, top. And then exhale, second side. Let this be like a moving meditation. Just moving back and forth, remembering that pause at the top and the bottom. You can even turn your head opposite direction of the knees. The next time your knees uh, move to the left, no rush. Pause there. And your right arm, I'd like you to move it as if it was the hand of a clock. So left arm can just stay wherever it is. Right arm is going to swing out to the right and then down towards the feet. Big circle and then out to the left. And really reach those right fingertips away from the right knee as you circle it around a few times like this. There's a little bit of engagement in the glutes to help open the front of the right hip. You'll notice my feet aren't together. The feet are as wide as the mat. On this next inhale, really reach, reach, reach. Make it like a morning stretch. And then just pause, right arm reaching as far from the top knee, that's your right one, as you can. So you're getting hopefully a really nice stretch along the right side of the trunk, all the way uh, top the right thigh as well. Head turning to the right a little bit if that feels okay. And then arm swings alongside the body. Knees come back through center. With an exhale, five, knees go right, four, three, two, one. And then left arm now circling it like the arm of a clock, circle down, 
out to the right. Inhaling, reaching left fingertips away from the top knee. That's your left one. Keep moving, keeping with that breath count. Now, next time, left arm circles behind you. Pause there, reaching left fingertips away from left knee. Big, big stretch, like a big morning stretch. Left glute, uh, glutes are engaged a little bit here. Breathing space into the left side of the trunk. Head maybe turning to the left. And then whenever the inhale arrives, count of five to come back to beginning position, knees, come back through center, and arms alongside the body. Couple pelvic tilts here. And then neutral pelvis, let those knees come into the chest. You can either hug the back of the thighs or the shins, whatever is accessible to you. Okay, options. I'm gonna give you the option to roll up and down the spine. If for whatever reason that's not a good fit, just roll side to side. If you can roll up and down the spine, you're gonna grab the backs of the thighs and then rocking forwards and backwards. Low belly pulling in, giving your spine a little massage. And then we'll all meet in a seated position, Sukhasana, right shin in front. Have your knees a little closer together, your feet are flexed and active. Sit nice and tall. Fingertips on either side uh, of you on the mat mm -hmm. and just sit nice, nice and tall, low belly pulling in. On the, an inhale, Inhaling five, four, reach the arms up, three, two, one, pause at the top. And then exhale, hinge from your hips, bring the fingertips back to their beginning position. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Sitting up, reaching up. If you can't bring your fingertips together, just bring them in a V. Exhale, fold forward, five, four, three, two, one. Just like that, keep moving with your breath. Open hearted as you fold. Next time you're folded forward, fingertips on either side of you. Pause here. Really drawing the out, outer uh, shoulders back behind you to keep the chest open. You're hinging from where the legs plug into the body to create this forward fold. The uh, right foot, the toes are peeling back towards the knee. Just a little bit of a stretch in the outer right hip. Take one more round of breath here. And then inhaling, coming back up, arms up. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Low belly pulling in and up. And you're going to bring your uh, feet to the floor in front of you, thighs together. Uh, make sure that you're tilting the front of your pelvis slightly forward so that the sits bones are touching the floor, you're really feeling it. You wanna avoid rounding the back here. Keep the thighs together. Imagine you have a little piece of paper between 
your knees and you don't want it to go anywhere. Reach your arms forward, low belly pulling in. So it just is a, like a variation of Navasana. Okay, and really what it's about is, can you keep your heart open while you're doing it? Okay, and knees together. Low belly in, one more breath. And then exhale. If you can roll up and down the spine, I'd like you to roll back down onto your back and hold the backs of the thighs and start to rock back and forth. If you can't, then just, um, you can just pause and in a cross-legged position. Just pause here for a moment. Uh, rock and rollers, keep rocking and rolling back and forth. And then we're gonna come back up to Sukhasana, cross-legged position, left shin in front now. And starting from the top, second side, left foot is flexed, sit nice and tall fingertips on either side of the mat. For the count of five, inhale as you reach up. Pause at the top. And then hinge from your hips, folding forward as you count of five, folding forward. Fingertips to the floor. Keep moving. But of course, don't forget to pause at the bottom at the exhale. Next time fingertips come to the floor and you're folded forward, pause there. Drawing the shoulder blades onto the back, releasing the tops of the shoulders away from the ear and really reaching your heart up out of the waist. Let your belly soften. Whenever the inhale naturally arrives, take five counts to reach the arms up overhead. And then exhaling, hands together in front of the heart. Take a few breaths here and just, um, if you feel okay with it, close your eyes and just see if you can notice the sensation of your entire palm and finger pads touching each other. And also the base of each finger. Can you get the bases of the fingers a little closer together without straining? Maybe you're just even feeling the warmth of the hands. Fingers slightly spread. Last breath. Good, float the eyes open, back to the uh, boat pose variation or Navasana. Bringing the feet to the floor, hold that piece of paper with your knees, low belly pulling in, reaching forward. And even here, five counts to inhale, pausing at the top, five counts to exhale. And uh, imagine, um, Imagine you had like a little block between your thighs and you were trying to rotate your inner thighs towards your feet. So they're spiraling towards your feet so you could like shoot the block out towards the feet, if that makes sense. Of course, your inner thighs don't completely spiral, right? But I'm asking you to activate the muscles that would cause that to happen just to help release the low back here. Keep the chest open. And then on an exhale, bring your feet together into cobbler's pose. Bring your fingertips back behind you. Take a big inhale here, broad chest. And then on the next exhale, kick the feet wide, wide-legged. Seat here, sitting nice and tall, reaching the heels, broad chest. 
When the exhale arrives, back in to cobblers. Pausing for an inhale. And then the exhale, you're on the move again. Kick those legs out wide. Pause for a slow inhale. Now on your next exhale, I'd like you to cross your legs into Sukhasana again. Right shin in front of left. And uh, reach for your block or your books or whatever. This is just an option to go a little deeper in um, opening up the outer right hip. If it doesn't feel right for your knee, please just stay in regular Sukhasana. Uh, if you'd like to go a little bit deeper, you're gonna keep your right foot flexed. The toes are gonna keep peeling back to protect that knee. So this is real active right here in the foot. And then you just place the right heel on the block or books. And then fingertips on either side of you here. Sit nice and tall for this one, inhale. And then exhale, just bring your palms together. Stay seated, sitting tall. And then a little different arm variation with this one. Inhale, arms reach up into a V. Exhale, hands come together in front of your heart. I went a little faster than a count of five. Let's try to slow it down. So on the count of five, slowly inhaling, reaching your arms up. Pause at the top. And with the exhale of the count of five, palms together, pause with an exhale. Let's do that twice more on our own. Nice and tall, chest lifted away from the navel. Very good, okay, from here, you can help your foot off that block if you used it and kick the right leg out to the right. So I would like you to square your pelvis so uh, and shoulders so that they're looking at the right leg. We're gonna move into Janusha Shasana, but just go into a quick twist first. So I've lifted myself up, I feel like on my pelvis and shoulders are square towards that right foot. Inhale, reach the arms up. On an exhale with your tummy in, uh, rotate belly, heart, head to the right. Back of the left hand comes to the outside of your extended leg. Pausing here in the twist, looking over right shoulder. But keep your body in this twist now. And I, if you're at like 100% of your twist right now, I'd like you to inhale out like 20%. And then exhale in like 10% back into it. Let's do that again. Inhaling, coming out about 20%. Loosen up that twist. Don't work too hard. And then exhale, go back into about 10 more. So you're just like 90% of your capacity. Nice, easy twist here. Good. And then whenever your next inhale naturally arrives, untwist. Exhale, bring the palms together, you're facing that foot. And then inhale, reach the arms straight up. Let's take it into the fold as you exhale. Now I'm holding onto my foot. You don't have to, please hold on to um, maybe your shin, maybe your hands rest on either side of the floor. It's okay to have your back rounded. Um, in, well, in this variation, I don't care if your back's not straight, you can totally be rounded, but if it feels like it's excessively rounded, you may need to come out of it a little bit and work on tilting your pelvis forward um, so that you can get a little deeper into the hamstrings and out of the uh, stretching the low back for this one. Let's take about two more rounds of breath. Whenever your inhale naturally arrives, five counts to come on up. Uh, 
And then exhale back into boat pose. Let's just stay here for, oh, just one round of breath. Hold that piece of paper between the knees. Okay, second side, left shin crosses in front of right. Again, maybe you're just rocking the uh, Sukhasana. Maybe you want to go into this fire log prep variation. Slide that block check. Is that left foot flex? Flex it. Fingertips on either side of the body on the mat and just sit nice and tall, get real tall. Low belly's pulling in to support this. And then bring the palms together in front of you. Now with the breath, five counts to inhale the arms up. Pause at the top. Five counts to exhale the palms together in front of you. Pause with empty lungs. Keep moving to the rhythm of your breath. Good, and then pausing here for a moment. Feel the sensation of the skin of your right palm touching the skin of your left palm. And again, focusing in on the base of the ring finger, the base of the index finger, the middle finger, the base of the pinky fingers, and even the base of the thumbs. Pressing them all together. Okay, both eyes open, help that left foot off your prop if you used it. And then we're gonna kick the left leg out to the left, pick ourselves up now and position ourselves preparing for Janu Shushasana. Square hips and shoulders towards, orient them towards that foot. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. We're gonna uh, take a pit stop in our twist though. Exhale, rotate belly, heart left, head left. Stay tall in the spine. Okay, if you're at 100%, I'd like you to inhale out about 20%, come out of it. And then whenever the exhale arrives, go back in about just 10%. Use that right arm as a lever. Whenever the inhale arrives, come out of it again, about 20%. And then exhale, move into it. So you're just about 90% of your twist capacity in this variation of Janu Shirshasana. Good, and then whenever the inhale arrives, you're gonna untwist, reach the arms up overhead, when the exhale arrives, fold forward. Reaching through that heel, hands fall where they may. Tilting the front of the pelvis towards the floor, reaching your heart away from your navel. Feel your breath. This is your last slow exhale. And then taking your slow inhale to come on up. And then uh, let's transition uh, up into a standing position. Good. 
Okay, so we are gonna do a little bit of a half sun salutation. So starting in mountain pose, bring your palms together in front of your heart and feel the soles of your feet making connection with the planet. Take a slow exhale. When the inhale arrives, reach the arms up. Now keep your palms together if you can, but if you can't, no problem. Just bring them uh, into a V, bring the arms into the V. And then on the exhale, you're gonna dive forward, knees can slightly bend, fingertips come to a block or the floor, gaze at the knees. When the inhale arrives, hands to shins, half forward fold, reaching your heart away from your navel. Exhale, fold. Fingertips to block or four. On the inhale, stand up, reach up. Exhale, palms together in front of heart. Okay, so that's our half sun salutation. Well, I'm gonna invite you not only to do the five breath count in and out and the pause at the top, all that good stuff, but also directing you to put your eyes somewhere in particular. So adding more of a meditative quality to this as well. So inhaling, reaching up, gazing at your thumbs. If you have to part your arms, just gaze at the ceiling. On the exhale, dive down, gaze at the floor as your fingertips rest somewhere and then gaze at your knees. Pause. When the inhale arrives, half forward fold, gaze at the top edge of your mat, long neck. Exhale, fold, gaze at your knees. Inhale, standing up, reaching up, gazing at thumbs or ceiling. Exhale, mountain pose, palms together in front of the heart, gaze at middle fingers. Again, inhale, reach up, thumbs or ceiling. Exhale, swan dive. Gaze at floor and then gaze at knees. Pause on that exhale. When the inhale arrives, Hands to shin, gaze at top of mat. When the exhale arrives, gaze at knees as you fold. Inhale, stand up, reach up, looking up. Exhale, Tadasana, gaze at middle fingers. One more time like that. Inhale, thumbs are ceiling. Exhale, floor. Gaze at knees as you pause. Inhale, half forward fold, top of mat. Exhale, knees as you forward fold. Inhale, stand up, reach up, gaze up. Exhale, Tadasana. And feel the bases of your fingers pressing into each other. Good. Okay, so now we're gonna move over to the wall. So go ahead and uh, grab your mat, let's move it on over. We will be using our chair, but not right now. Um, have the long, uh, excuse me, the short edge of your mat uh, right up against the wall. And I'd like you to start with, um, oh, just start about arms distance away from the wall. And so you're, the, you're supporting the weight of your body with your feet and you're really just kind of like just resting that hand really that's all so um you're going to place actually resting both hands on the wall okay so i'm just standing 
standing, supporting the weight of my body with my feet, but just resting my fingers on the wall. And have your uh, wrists just a little bit below the shoulders, but in front of them on the wall. My elbows are kind of bent right now as I'm working on just spreading my fingers wide, like a paper fan, spread them wide. And then just like we were earlier, pressing the base of the fingers, even the thumb into the wall. Feel the stretch, feel your breath. Now, just to mix things up here, and, uh, and actually um, there's some yogically, uh, energetically qualities uh, to doing this, but um, I'd like you to press, especially press your ring finger and your thumb into the wall, right? So all, all the fingers are pressing in the wall, but I would like you to press a little bit more into the thumb and the ring finger. I said that uh, in, in yoga, there's these, um, and also in uh, Chinese medicine, uh, there's meridians, these, these energetic uh, kind of pathways, and they all kind of hook up to the fingers and well, everywhere in the body, but um, pressing particularly in those thumbs and ring fingers. Okay, now from here, just regular old, all of them are pressing into the wall equally. Now I'd like you to straighten your elbows if they aren't straight, straighten them. And you'll either stay here, you might stay here, especially if you have sensitive wrists. And if that's the case, I want you to walk your hands a little higher than the shoulders and just hang out here. If you're feeling okay in your wrists today, I'd like you to walk back and come into a plank pose. And your wrists now will be directly in front of the shoulders. Spread those fingers wide. And now just check that you're not kind of, belly is not hanging towards the wall and you're not over swaying your back and releasing the butt. And of course not uh, reaching too far. We're not doing a downward dog. We're just somewhere in the middle of the body's on a diagonal. That is if you are doing the plank, you don't have to. And then from here, I'd like you to part your shoulder blades and then draw them together on the back. Part your shoulder blades, draw them together on the back. So. It's almost like your arms are growing long and then your heart sinks towards the wall. Heart away from the wall and heart towards the wall. And you, how much mobility you have in your shoulder blades will just depend. You might just be moving just a centimeter. You might be moving quite a bit. Keep those arms straight. You're just kind of lubricating the shoulders here, sliding the shoulder blades together on the back, sliding them apart a couple more times. Good. And then walk towards the wall and shake out the wrist. You can turn around. And then hands in loose fists, roll the wrists both directions. Shake them out. And um, standing in mountain pose here, away from, just slightly away from the wall, you're going to Inhale, bend the knees and sweep the arms back behind you. Exhale, mountain pose, clap your hands in front. Inhale, chair, sweep the arms back behind you, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, stand up, clap your hands. Just like that. We'll do the breath count too. Inhaling five, pausing. Exhaling five, pausing, just like that. Squeeze those shoulder blades. And as you clap, you can part the shoulder blades. Last one. And release. 
Okay, so now here's where we're going to go. We are going to use the chair. So we're done. We're done with the wall. So you can move your mat away. And I'd like you to grab your chair and bring it towards the center, uh, in the center of your mat, but back just a little bit. So just the uh, two front legs are on the mat. And taking a wide stance with your right foot, generally right in front of the um, front right leg of the chair. Turn your right toes to the right and bend your right knee for a warrior two. We're gonna open up the arms wide, okay? And it doesn't have to be a big deal here. Um, the left toes are pointing straight forward, right? So it doesn't have to be a super wide warrior two. We're just feeling the stability of our legs, giving it uh, the right foot and right leg an opportunity to really press down into the floor. And then keeping the stability of the low body, we're gonna do a little bit of arm uh, stuff. So. On an inhale, doing a reverse warrior two, right arm reaches up. And then exhale, back into warrior two arms. Keep moving. Doing that five count breath, feel the strength of your legs. Now, next time you're in warrior two, turn the head, gaze over middle finger of right hand. And then triangle pose with the help of our chair behind us. You're gonna straighten the right leg, bring right fingertips to tickle that chair, left arm reaches up. And the same quality that we had as we were drawing our shoulder blades back behind us for the chair pose, I'd like you to do that here. So, Shoulder blades together behind you, gazing either forward or maybe moving the gaze towards the ceiling, towards that left hand. Both legs are straightened. And it's okay if that top hip comes forward a little bit, that's okay. It doesn't have to, um, it doesn't have to be lifted back straight up towards the sky. Let's take one more round of breath here. Good, and then come on back up. Let's just move to the second side. Turn the toes to the left. So your left toes are pointing towards the top of your mat, bending left knee, opening arms left and right. I feel like this posture really, um, for me at least, really feels like it evokes a lot of strength, personal strength, and just kind of like, boom, I'm here. So feel yourself, really feel yourself, you are here. Feel the feet on the floor. And from our strong foundation, that's gonna support the movement of our arms. With an inhale, reverse warrior. And an exhale, come back to beginning position. Using the breath count too, right? Let's do the pause at the top and the pause at the bottom of the breath. Okay, next time you're in that warrior two, let's pause, gazing over the middle finger of the left hand, shoulder blades moving together and down the back. Good, and now moving into our triangle pose. Ooh, we should probably position ourselves a little bit uh, back uh, towards the uh, opposite short end of the mat so we can have a left foot generally in front of one of the chair legs here. And then that way your left fingertips can land on the chair as you reach your right arm up. Maybe leaning the head and the heart back, enjoying the breath, enjoying the inhale and the exhale.
And wherever you're gazing, make it intentional. So you're welcome to gaze forward or towards the hand. So there's a like a behavior that arises, um, I think just naturally if, when we feel stressed out, our eyes start scanning. So um, if you can still the eyes, we can help still the mind. If you can regulate the breath, we can help regulate the mind, the body. Nice, when you feel nice and balanced, you come on back up. And then we're gonna take a wide leg and forward fold. Please feel free to um, bring your hands to the block if you need to, but I would like you to have your toes pointing forward and maybe even swinging the heels out a little bit. Folding forward. And we're gonna be here for a little bit, so settle in. <laughs> Coming back to that breath count. And feeling uh, the all the corners of the feet pressing into the floor. Spiraling your inner thighs to the wall behind you. Breathing deep. About two more breaths. Good. Okay, from here, bend your knees a little bit. Bring your hands to your hips. Take your time slowly coming on up. And then we're gonna um, have a seat on our chair. I'd like you to scoot back in your chair so that you feel fully supported. Um, you're not gonna fall forward in the chair. Bring your hands into loose fists and slowly roll the wrists. Go both directions. Take a deep breath in as you roll, and then we're gonna punch the wrists out, punch the arms out in front of us as we exhale out through the nose. <sighs> yeah, okay, we're gonna do that twice more. And again, out through the nose, um, you're at home, so you have any snot rockets, you got Kleenex nearby, hopefully. Inhaling, reach, uh, rolling, and then exhaling, punch out. <sighs> Last time. Good, and then from here, I'd like you to take your fists and bring them to your tummy, okay? So um, this is a nice a way to massage our uh, organs. Um, and it also is pretty cool because it stretches the low back and it helps, um, I feel like it helps me release my thigh bones back down into the socket. So feel it out. We're gonna keep these loose fists here and then fold over. Right. So you want to make sure to, um, if you have like, um, you know, if you you have a lot of skin or fat, you want to just like really get up in there, up, up, up in there, kind of underneath the tummy and then folding forward, folding forward as you exhale. And then you're going to pause here, gazing at the knees. And if it feels okay to you, you're gonna take a slow breath in for five counts and then exhale slowly for five counts and hold for up to five counts. Hold your breath out for five counts or four or three or two or one, whatever feels accessible to you. And then coming back up. Rest your hands on your thighs, close your eyes, feel your breath. I'm not trying to control the breath or anything, just feel it. Good. 
good. Let's um, move to the mat, walk nearby. And anything you might want for relaxation pose nearby. We're gonna come down onto our back. Knees bent, feet on the mat. And then I'd like you to cross your left thigh over your right. Draw your knees to the chest, hands free. Arms go left and right. Oh, excuse me, we have one thing we need to do before we do this. Land your right foot to the mat. I want you to then pop your hips just about an inch to the left. And now draw the knees in. We're gonna go into a twist. Knees uh, go to the right. Head turns left. Oh, one more round of breath. And then with an inhale, come on back. Untangle the legs. Pop your hips through center. Now hop your hips just at about maybe an inch to the right. Boop. And then crossing right thigh over left. Thighs to chest, feet off the floor. And now taking a twist, knees go left, belly, heart, head goes right. Really extending your top hip, that's your right one, away from the face, away from the heart. And my knees, like they're not touching the floor, it's actually my feet that are touching the floor. You don't have to have the knees on the floor to get benefit to, of this practice. Like, depends on just how tight the body feels uh, in this moment. So we're getting a little bit of a stretch in the outer right hip, some uh, stretch in the right side of the trunk. Have one more breath. And then coming back through center, untangle the legs, hips in the center, have your block nearby. Bridge pose, lift the hips, gaze to the ceiling. Arms are gonna come alongside the body for this one. You're welcome to grab a hold of the edges of the mat and kind of try to rip the mat apart away from you to help draw shoulder blades together and down away from the ears, keep your gaze to the ceiling. Or you can interlace the fingers. Thighs are parallel, glutes engaged. And then staying up, locate your block. Of course, if you have to turn your head, bring your hips to the mat. Grab that block, slide it underneath your pelvis. Once again, supported bridge. And just resting there. I encourage you to um, have it on the lowest setting, just making this really full of ease, uh, this pose. You could even walk your feet a little wider and let the thighs fall towards each other. Close your eyes, soften your face, your forehead. And in fact, let's just wiggle, Ooh, wiggle the muscles of the face. So kind of scrunch your face up and then stretch it long and wide. Open your mouth. Really giving the face a little bit of a stretch. And then allowing the muscles to soften and just returning the face into whatever shape. This feels relaxing. Scan through the body, just make sure you're really releasing the weight of your pelvis to the block that you're on. Take a slow breath in and hold the breath at the top. 
for the count of up to five, if that feels okay. And then you're gonna just let it all out. Good, lift your hips, remove your block, bring your bottom to the mat, stretch your legs out long, Shavasana. Begin to deepen your breath, wiggling your fingers and toes. And then as you're ready, take a big morning stretch. Drawing one knee at a time into the chest to give yourself a hug, a hug of gratitude, taking this time for yourself. Remembering that it's a gift to everyone you come in contact with, because how nice is it, it, it is, a, is it to hang out with someone who's relaxed? And then rolling to one side, coming up to a comfortable seat of your choice. Bring your palms together in front of your heart. If you'd like to dedicate the benefits of your practice to anyone or ones special to you, imagine where they are right now in their day. And we'll collect the goodness up on the inhale, we'll send it out to them on the exhale. Big breath in. Send it out. See them wherever they are feeling relaxed and centered, strong, open in their mind and body. 
Thank you so much for your practice today. Namaste.